Earlier in the programme, you saw me reach this stage. We're going to continue and put the land in now and then the water. I'm using a three quarter flat, a bit of raw sienna. Bit of hooker's green, bit of yellow, bit of water. Bit more water. Strong colour that hooker's green. Just add a bit more yellow now. And we'll come back to the down water brush. Bit of light yellow. Just stipple in a bit of lighter colour. Just adding a bit of white to the yellow. We'll finish it off when it's dry. Three quarter flat now. Some raw sienna. And we'll put in a few rocks. I'm going to mix a bit of Payne's Grey with a little bit of lizard and crimson. Give me a purple colour. Some darker colour on those rocks. Should be about a third dry before I do what I'm doing now. I'm going to put in, using the wonder knife, a bit of profile on the rocks. I'm just moving paint around. Very effective way of painting rocks. Just taking the surface paint off on the bottom again. I'm just putting the undercoat on. It's time to put the water in now. So I'm going to use a pointed brush and I want a nice soft blue. I'm doing horizontal strokes. Water's always level. I'm keeping it light because I'm going to put reflections in. Right, I'm starting on the right hand side with a bit of richer blue. I'm just going across like that. Bit more depth on this side. Now it's time for the reflections. I'm using a three quarter flat. Start with some raw sienna, a touch of burnt sienna. I'm going to drag the brush down in quick vertical strokes. Bit of orange. Some Payne's Grey and Hawker's Green. Bit of light yellow. This is, this is yellow light hands that I'm using. And I'm going to horizontally blend that in by going across like that. A little bit of white and a bit of yellow. Puts a few highlights in. And we'll go across. 
across here with a bit of white wind line and here now I need to move to the right Put a little bit of reflection down here I don't want a lot right it's now time to add the detail so I'm back to the tree and foliage brush and I'm going to have some soft green this is vivid lime green with a little bit of white titanium white and I'm going to make this here just gently stippling I'm going to have a little bit of yellow and a bit of orange as well just want a few light highlights here we do this one as well same colour. Can't have them all autumn colours. There'll be bits of green here and there. Bit of green over here. Some cadmium orange and some white. And a bit of yellow orange here so I'm going to give this one a bit more definition. Popper painting will take me maybe a couple of hours to do. These are simple sketches just to show you the techniques that I would use. I'm going to have a little gauze bush in the front here to break the whole area of trees down. And we'll have a little one here, I think. I'll soften that a bit. And over here, I've got a couple of trees to put in on the left hand side. Put some in, some light on this foreground. Just stippling in a bit of texture here. Little fence to go in using the bigger brush, paint spray, burn sienna. Plenty of water, and over here we'll put a little fence. And we'll finish off by putting in A little boat. A couple of fishermen sitting in there. Just a bit of reflection underneath. A bit of texture on the rocks. There'll be 
something growing around there. The rocks weren't put there last night. A few tufts of grass or something around there. And just one more thing to do, very quickly, put in some structure for the trees. So these little bits of detail make all the difference. Don't overdo this. All you do is press the, press the brush down and then twitch it. I'm going to just put a little bit of fence over here because this is in the distance. Get a shadow down here, build up this a little bit. And that's our painting for this program. Hope you enjoyed watching me do it.